Tim Poo Gamer Great Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of History with. Don't know why I said it like that. I'm tired and I'm not gonna lie, I can really feel the tiredness sinking in. So, as you know, one way or another, History with is a series, and I'm doing it. Simple as. But let's actually look towards the other aspects of stuff like that. History with is generally more of a series that is created due to the fact that it was just more interesting to do like this instead of trying to make it so it was looked more by more people because this series is either you either like or you don't um i don't force people to decide it is generally yeah uh, either like or you don't like it don't like it it's not big a deal it's generally just did I get the dust no it's generally just we all have different tastes we all have different thoughts about different things so that's why I say History of it is a series, either you like it or you don't. It's also more about trying to find out and look into things and help others understand things as how we understand it. Like, for instance, a lot of the time, a lot of people will ask, How'd you come to that conclusion? Wait, what do you mean by that type of stuff and this is just a small way of trying to say well this is how I got to it this is how I look at it what's your do you guys agree or do you guys think this still a possibility that I was wrong so or do you guys actually think that the solution I got to is just stupid? It literally is a series like that. You don't have to know it all. You don't have to love it all. You just have to have an opinion. And everyone who watches videos always an opinion. No, because they want to. It's really because when they have that opinion, they instinctively want to keep it, keep it the same, or try and get others to have the same opinion. Wow. I think the sleep's really sending my eyes. That's not good. Yeah. An opinion is just one person's thought on an outtake that can be taken hundreds of thousands of different ways. And everyone has the right to their own opinion. If you believe that you're the savior of the universe yeah go ahead it's your opinion you're the savior of the universe I know that's a corny reference back to an old film but meh oh, you got rid of the mm -hmm. but there's hundreds of other different opinions. Everyone has their own view on life. Everyone has their 
their own belief in God or belief in Allah or belief in Buddha. There's so many different people, so many different religions, so many different types of people out there. And you could never say one person is wrong because everyone in in one way or another is actually correct in their own thoughts because it always ends up being their own belief and their own desire that leads them to that answer. Another thing is when I was watching a series I realized that a lot of people start to believe what others say all the time. One of the episode one of the things I watch is called Brooklyn Nine Nine. I'm caught up to date with it nearly. I've got a few more episodes to try and get through, but in it, one of the main characters is a guy called Jake Peralta. Jake Peralta basically is in two minds half the time. He doesn't always trust himself, and he always goofs around but a lot of people out there actually believe and trust in them and well they just want to make sure that he believes in himself he doesn't believe in himself because he's had a lot of issues in his background he's felt abandoned, betrayed and that by his own family. But in true, he's an amazing it's by the way, it is if you haven't clicked on it's a detective series. I was about to say he's an amazing detective who basically anyone would be lucky to to be able to have around in their precinct. And one of the more recent ones was more of an, an actual real world thing, real well there decision. He didn't know if he was ready to have a kid or not. And to him, he felt like he might. Have, he didn't. He felt like he was going to mess things up. So he didn't want to have a kid. But later down the line, he realized he does. So in his way of thinking he actually realized he wanted it but this all comes back to you never know what the true outcome is until you give it a shot everyone might think they know everything everyone might think that the world revolves around them don't get me wrong, some people may actually have the world revolving around them, as in they are generally 99% of the time correct. With their guess, and deserve to be correct. Wow, why are you so why are you stronger than the rest? But some of the times when you guess too much and you're playing too much with fire or whatever you want to call it, playing too much, you never know what will really happen because you're thinking too much about what may happen instead of actually doing it and seeing what will happen this is why it's interesting the human mind creates hundreds of problems 
a day for its own for its own body because the human mind believes that it doesn't need doesn't need anybody to tell it what to do they believe everything it does is correct but when people actually stop and took a minute to think about everything they realized it was stupid because life never is one obstacle life isn't one obstacle it's hundreds but that's for another video hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video anyhow if you have please like and subscribe i know a bit drowning on but it's because i'm tired and i'm literally feel like i hope if i don't go back to sleep soon i am actually going to stay awake which is not good on that note guys hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you all next time bye